and education and, uh, and trade and training and all of those kind of things. I think there are opportunities. I think in the first instance, we need to look at some of the remote education type opportunities that exist currently that can be used on the island. So there are lots of ways that people can enhance their, their job prospects, enhance their skill sets, and do all of those things through education and training. And those programs are, are in place. Uh, and, and things like, and I, I know it sounds obscene, or absurd, sorry, that uh, School of the Air and things like that, that distance education. There are students currently on this island who are actually using those programs online to, you know, they're, they're doing some homeschooling here on the island. Again, because of the, the pressures of travel and transport and circumstances. So those opportunities are there and we need to probably maximise them, enhance them, but more importantly, how many of you knew that School of the Air was actually functioning within the Bay Island community? Okay, three of you. We need to get that word out that there are those opportunities. The uh, recreational boating infrastructure and, and low-key ecotourism, I think very much how we resolve Wine Creek and the other transport issues will depend on how viable ecotourism or any tourism is on the islands. Because can I tell you, it's not an appealing thing to drive down to Wine Creek to find a car park. And if you do find one, odds on you'd almost certainly get a parking ticket if you're in the wrong spot. And uh, you've been out here, you've enjoyed a day on the island. So we need to address all of those issues. But I think there are opportunities. And I know that uh, certainly, and can I use you as an example here, when I was on council, and these are largely council-related issues, I think council has, uh, has probably lost a little focus. I'm not conceited enough to say since I left. But uh, they, uh, they actually blocked an ecotourism resort that was planned for this island. It's, it's one that, on the record, I voted for as a council uh, a councillor. And they're missing those opportunities. It seems this council stifled the economic uh, uh, development on the islands through business. And another classic example, I, I think Ian is still at war with council over his shopping centre. It's just ludicrous. And, and I've got to tell you, hand on heart, that shopping centre, and I'm not saying it because he's here, I'd say it anyway, is the best thing that ever happened to these islands here and in the world. It's made the island more livable, as you pointed out, Evan. So you don't need to travel. But council needs to just start getting out of the way. The, the state government has allowed councils to be in large uh, measure their own masters of their own destiny, and they've invented all these overlays that all they do is actually tell you how not to allow something to happen instead of allowing things to happen. So this, the ecotourism can happen on the islands, but council needs to change its mindset. It needs to change its mindset with the daycare centre that's currently, you know, got a world of hurt. It's taken more than enough money and more than enough time to get the daycare centre on the island. They're areas where I think the state needs to, to review the planning mechanisms, uh, and that's something we're on the record. We're, we're looking at reviewing the, the urban footprint, the planning mechanisms and measures. Some of these things take far too long, far too long. They're the things that will actually help benefit this island. They're the things that will help improve your life, and they're the things that I'll be fighting for. On uh, question uh, dot point three, the small business development, it's exactly that same thing. Councils need to be a little more flexible if they're to create employment opportunities on the island. I think you might touch upon it, but perhaps it's a bit sensitive for uh, an MP uh, politician to mention the NBA. I think the NBN is an important investment. Um, I'll leave aside that it, it's John Office cost because I'm not quite like to claim on that. Um, but the NBN uh, will benefit the islands, and I'd like to see the islands higher up in the priority to get it. I know that they were they're running the, the NBN in Highgate Hill, where I didn't know there was a uh, particular access problem. Three jobs that means that you don't have to keep moving from the islands and mainland on a day-to-day on a, a -day -day basis. I think that's one of, the, one of the, the, the issues. I think that that is a problem in Redlands generally. It's, it's a dormitory suburb where people leave the place they live during the day and they come back at night. And the way things are at the moment is if you've got a job, you, know, you haven't got much time for, any, for anything else. We all seem to work hard once we're working. And uh, you have to work hard when you're only employed. I have been unemployed for a period quite recently and I don't know how hard it is. I have sympathy with anyone uh, that's got a particularly transport problem. Again, these issues are interrelated. We have to solve the transport problem to improve the economic uh, viability of the, of, uh, of the Walton Bay Islands. Um, 
I think there's are a lot of uh, small businesses here at the moment, and um, I'm 100% supporting local shopping and local retail. And I hear lots of good things about the uh, the, the shop here on Russell, and uh, I don't think they've got the same opportunity on uh, on McLean at the moment. But, but I guess one thing from the population that's grow, then that opportunity may may arise for standalone operation to be viable. There's a lot of money thrown around uh, by the government on subsidy. I don't know if the money needs to be thrown around in that, but I, I'd hope to think that uh, there'll be someone perhaps working with Redland City Council to make sure that the island uh, local community, particularly the art artist community, got a fair slice of that. And uh, hats off to, to Russell for the artwork at the, um, at the, at the entry there. Uh, I think that's a, uh, a major uh, um, addition. And uh, one thing I would say is that, uh, which answers to all these questions, the thing that impresses me most is that there is a fire. People in any community shouldn't just be relying on government. They need, they need, as you do here, to actually come up with your own ideas and then, and then put those ideas in, in saying that fashion to, um, to your, your local representative. And uh, certainly if I was a local representative, I would be 100% behind uh, an idea that, that um, uh, came from the community, and I think I think it's been a lack of genuine public consultancy uh, uh, with the people on the islands, and um, that that would also foster, I'm sure, uh, more opportunities for small business. get to and from the islands. That's, that's what we have to have to move forward. 